bodies contain many specialized cells that carry out specific functions. These specialized cells are called differentiated cells. In contrast, a stem cell is undifferentiated. Its role in the body is not yet determined. A stem cell can give rise to multiple cell types, including more stem cells. Stem cells play an important role in our bodies, from embryonic development through adulthood. Development begins when sperm and egg meet. This event produces a special kind of stem cell that has the potential to grow into a human being as well as a placenta, which will nourish the embryo as it grows. For the first few divisions, all the cells remain undifferentiated. Each one has the same potential as the fertilized egg. As development continues, a series of instructions or signals gradually limit each cell's potential. Differentiation has begun. One week after fertilization, the embryo, now called the blastocyst, looks like a lopsided hollow ball. The cells around the outside of the ball will form the placenta. A clump of cells on the inside, called the inner cell mass, will form all the cells of the body. About two weeks after fertilization, the cells organize into three layers. Cell signals restrict the cell's potential even further. Each layer will give rise to a different set of cell types. A few weeks later, the cells of the outer layer, or ectoderm, have become skin, nervous system, and parts of the face and neck. The middle layer, or mesoderm, has become muscle, blood, blood vessels, and the beginnings of bones and connective tissue. The inner layer, or endoderm, has begun to form the digestive and respiratory tracts and the glands that feed into them, including the pancreas and the liver. As development continues, cells differentiate to form the 250 or so cell types of the body. But even after birth and into adulthood, pockets of stem cells remain. These somatic or adult stem cells play an important role in growth, maintenance, and repair. Some stem cells sit quietly, waiting for a signal to tell them to divide. Others are constantly at work, replacing cells that are lost through daily wear and tear. Somatic stem cells differ from embryonic stem cells. Under natural conditions, they can give rise to just a few cell types. For example, bone marrow stem cells give rise most often to blood cells. Bone marrow contains massive numbers of stem cells, but most somatic stem cells sit among large numbers of differentiated cells. Somatic stem cells have been found in many other tissues, including brain, blood, blood vessels, muscle, skin, teeth, heart, gut, and liver. As we grow from fertilized eggs into fully formed human beings, stem cells give rise to all of our differentiated tissues and organs. Stem cells continue to play an important role throughout our lives as they help to heal and maintain our bodies.